said she running away She said she can't take it no more, no So she ran away She can't love him what she want <laughs> She likes you, sorry What's she got in her mouth? There's a screw right here Go, Come. Hey family and welcome back. If this is your first time seeing me, hit that subscribe button and season greetings from my home to yours. On this channel, we do interior design, a little bit of vlogging, some DIY and lifestyle. So if that is what you're looking for, go ahead and subscribe. Now let's get into this video. Hey guys, so I am getting rid of this piece. I've had this up for over five years now. All the material was free except for the mirrors. Um, I built it, that was then when things were brown. Now I'm coming with the new. I've been thinking on what to do with this wall and I've had it planned for over two years now. So here we go. Today, babe is helping me what we're doing right now is we're measuring out the wall. As you would know, with these wood construction um, buildings, the walls are not straight, nothing is straight. So if you take a, a measurement to the bottom, you have to take the measurement to the top as well so that you can, you know, find your center. So what I am going to do, so I will have to use less material and I don't have to worry where my studs are at, I am using one by six. So I am putting four one by six on this wall and I'm going to screw the one by six to the studs. And then thereafter, I don't have to worry about the studs anymore because everything will be adhered to the one by six. The one by six will be carrying the weight. Um, we're adding two screws. The screws that I'm using is there are um, three inch screws. And those are what I'm using to screw into the studs that's in the wall um this idea is the easiest way along with it helps you to use less two by four so the the actual unit that you're building would not be as heavy as it would if you had to build the back with two by four and then still do the front with two by four by adding the one by sixes on the wall and adhering everything to the one by six you don't have to build a back wall so therefore, um, it's less wood up on the wall and it's less material that you have to purchase. So, you know, after sitting down and planning this out, um, this is the cheapest and easiest way to build this unit. Um, in total, I first I bought 12 um, two by fours and then I went back and I got, I think it was four more. Yeah, four more. I only really needed three and a quarter but I bought four. So the first thing you want to do is you want to build it out on the floor. And for me, I needed to build it in the space because this is a long piece and trying to get it through the doors would have been very difficult. So my piece is going to stand off of the wall. Um, is it, I think it's nine inches in total is what I ended up being. No, seven inches. I'm sorry. Seven and a half inches off of the wall is what my piece is going to end up being. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm cutting the pieces in the other room and then coming over here. Uh, so, and then, you know, babies, I'm using his manpower to put it together. You want to make sure everything is square. So you want to use a square to make sure everything is at its 90 degrees like it's supposed to be. Um, if you build this crooked, I guarantee you when you put it up on the wall, it's either going to be hell for you to fix it or the whole thing is going to be crooked. So take your time. And one thing we're using is clamps um, to help squeeze the piece together. So that really makes it a lot easier, um, especially if you're building this by yourself, you need clamps. 
Next, I'm going to put the support in between and I am placing them at 16 inches at center. At center means that the small piece of wood that goes across in between the long ones, you're taking your measurement from one end to the center of that piece of wood. So that is your center. So when you have to measure to figure out where you want to put a screw after you put your drywall up, you know you're measuring to center, 16 inches at center. And the purpose for these wood is to give that piece strength. Next, we're mounting it to the 2x6. We're not mounting it to the wall. It's being mounted to the 2x6. That was the purpose of putting the 2x6 up there. Because where I'm placing this, um, this, uh, these studs right now, there is no studs in the wall right there. So it would not have had any strength, okay? You have to make sure everything is level. Do not take it for granted. Do not use your eyes thinking it's level. This thing has got to be level or it will tell in the end. As you can see, I'm doing most of the uh, measuring, the leveling, all that kind of stuff because this is my field. This is what I do. This is what I know. This is what I understand. For Babe, he's a computer engineer. That's what he knows. He always say, stay in your lane and he stays in his and I stay in mine. So um, I tell him what to do and he does it because he knows this is my expertise. So he allows me to, um, you know, guide in this um, instance. And here we're adding the second um, piece on the other side. Now for this big piece if, that goes in the front, we would have had to build this twice if we did not put the one by six on the wall so we're building this um it's hard to build it because the, the rug is there so the rug is creating an unevenness and it's going to show when we put it up on the wall because we have to take it back down move the rug out of the way turn the piece so it can be flat on the floor and then re-square it so always use your square you're going to see we have like a blue blue triangle there that is um the square that we're using now you want to always um, dry fit. So it was on the floor, we dry fit it so that um, to make sure it fits. You don't want to keep building, 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 and then you have to take it back down, everything back down. So every time you do something, dry fit it to make sure that it works. Here is, this is going to take the weight of my fireplace. So I am placing two studs next to each other at center. Your center is always your weakest point. So you always want to enforce your center. So I am putting two studs at center and then it'll, the others will be one stud out. And I am doing it 16 inches off of my outside to center. Again, we are using three inch screws that's going into these pieces and we're doing two screws each. Do not be stingy with your screws. Now this, that 2x4 that I'm placing there, you see I have the blue square. I'm making sure that that is square and that I'm placing this wood in there. Um, that's what the fireplace is going to sit on. So I have to make sure that that is like extremely um, leveled. Sorry for my butt in your face. <laughs> Again, we are dry fitting it to make sure it fits. And I want to make sure while it's up that it is level. Check, 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 and check again. And here we're going to put it back down on the floor. We're going to elevate it a little bit because now we're going to dry fit the fireplace. And you will see why you need to dry fit everything. So what Babe is doing, he puts one screw in to keep the wood in place. And then we're going to dry fit the fireplace. And as you can see, it does not fit. And this is me. I took the measurements. We did it right using those measurements. But it did not fit. So we have to do a little bit of adjustment. That's why I say don't just measure and think that, oh, I measured it, it's going to work. No. For some reason, things shift around measure 
and dry fit and there it goes now it fits okay now that we have that fit now i can move on so um now i am working by myself because they've had a gig to go to and um he told me i can either wait and we finish it the following day or um i can you know i said no i think i'll continue because i was not that tired so i decided to continue and because i did this in the end i had a slight little error with the tv i had no one here to help me dry fit the tv so the tv's off a tack in the end um it still works but i wish i wish it was not off I just like to get things done. I don't like when someone tell me, wait till tomorrow, wait till tomorrow. And um, sometimes that's good and sometimes it's not. In this instance, uh, it's not because I should have just waited. But I just wanted this part to be finished in one day. I'm like, okay, now doing studs don't take that long. Like, this needs to be up. <laughs> you will notice for this top part, I am only putting two vertical um, studs in because there's no weight to be carried. My TV is actually mounting to the two, the one by sixes. It's not mounting to this piece at all. It's not going to even touch this piece. So no weight needs to be carried there. Now this is me being lazy. I know that I need to go and cut these down to size, but I'm here praying that one of them fits. <laughs> So I'm going to go into the next room and I cut them into size and now I'm going to put them into place. Now it was better for me to have this elevated off the floor a bit for the drill um, to drill and for you know how far down I would have to bend for my back. So that's why I have it up on one of the 2x4s. Now I'm using a hammer to kind of pong it in some because it wasn't flush. But then after a while I realized like I can always turn it around and let that be the back. If you see what I'm saying. Because I have everything symmetrical so I can flip it around if I wanted to. So as you can see just imagine if you had to build what I'm building twice plus build the two side pieces. You see how much more material that would be and how much more work it is. Um, I always work smarter, not harder. So I would, you know, if you want to try this, um, when you see the final product, I would say for definite, use the one by six on the walls and let those adhere to the studs. I must say it was satisfying after I finished this and I put it up on the wall. I thought I wasn't going to be able to lift it, but I was able to lift it and put it up on the wall by myself. I try my best to capture as much of um, when I'm doing a project. I try as much to capture as much of it as I can. Um, but sometimes, you know, either I forget or it's just hard to keep going and angling the camera. So as you can see, I use the hammer to kind of knock this in place. You know, you have a good fit when she's tight. So it was tight. I literally had to use the hammer to knock her in place. So, um, we, we got a good one going. So that is being attached to the side studs that I attached to the one by six. So that's what that's being attached to. And um, again, do not be stingy with the screws, screw, screw, screw. Some of the screws are gonna have to be screwed into an angle. And again, check, check, check your level as you go. Always make sure that you are level. This is your base. Your base has got to be perfect. Otherwise, your final product will not be.
I do not like this ladder at all. Um, when my neighbor was moving, he gave me this ladder and I do not trust this thing at all. I prefer my other ladder, but it's always downstairs in the garage and this one is always upstairs because I'm always doing, my ceilings are high upstairs. So I'm always doing something and always need this taller ladder. But I do not like this ladder at all. Some of the screws I could not get in. I did not want to go any higher up on the ladder because I was home alone. And if something happened, shoot. So I had to leave some of the screws. I put the screws in, left them sticking outside. I know that a screw was in place there. And then when babe come or my son come, they can go up and um, finish screw, you know, finish putting that screw in for me. But, you know, to help myself remember that a screw needed to go in that plate spot, I started to started it but left it sticking out so that I could see that it needed to be fixed. What I'm doing right here is I am doing the framing for the base. Now, as you can see, this one really needed two people and I was getting really tired. Um, when you get tired, just stop. My brain starts to calculate wrong. Um, things start to go wrong. And uh, you'll see in the end that I should have stopped because I was tired. But I wanted the framing to be completed in one day. That was my schedule. But, um, that's Judith. She don't know when to go sit down. But I must say, this feels very satisfying. When you're seeing your framework come together, you're seeing, like, I can clearly see the vision that I have. I can see it coming together. So this is very satisfying and this makes you want to keep going 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 but mentally i was tired um i was building this since we started probably around after one o'clock or so and right now it's probably about nine something at night i am tired i am tired yes we stopped in between i had to go cook for babe feed him and stuff but um it's still i was working you know so i am very tired I am starting to realize that something looks wrong. <laughs> I'm like, this piece looks kind of short. Why does it look so short? Why did you cut the piece of wood that you cut? Hmm. So, but I'm continuing and I'm like, I'm measuring to see how far I want it off of the wall. So I am continuing to go and not check in to see, hey, something looks wrong. But again, when you are tired, just stop. Just stop. If I had started fresh the following day to do the base, my base would have been correct the first time and I would not have had to go back to Home Depot to buy any more wood. So that's what this mistake cost me. It cost me to have to go back and buy more wood. And it cost me to have to build this back over, this the base back over again because it was too short. As you can see, I'm making mistakes. If you look, go back in the 
The rest of the video, you didn't see any mistakes. I'm making mistakes. I'm unscrewing stuff, screwing it back, unscrewing stuff, screwing it back. I'm making mistakes because I am tired. Now I could cut this part out, but again, I like my videos to be very organic, especially my DIY videos, very organic so that you can see the errors. Um, you can see, you know, where I went wrong and why not to do certain things. Um, if I cut out all the errors and the mistakes, then you, you wouldn't know that that mistake is possible, if you understand what I'm saying. So um, I leave certain mistakes in so that you can see not to do it. Okay guys, so this is the end of this video. This is part one. Part two, you will see the drywalling and painting part of it. And um, then the reveal after that. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for part two of my fireplace. She said she running away